welcome to a brand new year. Check this out. Look at this tie. Huh? Ha found in the back of my closet. I'm not sure it's going to last the whole show, but kind of looks like I had the split pea soup for lunch and it didn't end well. But we're going to continue and I'm going to hold on to it for the moment. Anyway, uh, we got a lot of stuff going on uh, today and in including a brand new trial. We're heading into uh, Georgia for this one. This is uh, day three of the Teresa Black murder trial. This is a 46-year-old woman facing charges of death uh, in, in the... Uh, first disappearance and then death of her six-year-old son. His body's found just outside a DeKalb County Cemetery. Okay, odd enough, gets weirder. That happened back in 1999. The case goes cold for 23 years. Ultimately, charges are brought against the victim, uh, uh, the mom in this case, Black. She and her son were homeless back then. He fell ill, uh, died in her care. That is the prosecution's belief. And although she admitted really that much, Black is now pleading not guilty to the charges brought against her, which include murder, aggravated cruelty to a child, concealing the death of another. Black's attorney alludes to the defendant taking the stand in her own defense. We will see if at some point that happens. We might uh, get to hear the story from her personally. We've seen some police interviews. But for now, let's jump into court. This is the testimony of the victim's aunt. My name is Wanda L. Hamilton Houston. Good morning, Ms. Hamilton. Good morning. Ms. Hamilton, did you know William Deshaun Hamilton? Yes. How did you know him? On his aunt. And is that on his mother's side or on his father's side? On his father's side. And um, what's your brother's name? William Harris Hamilton. Is that William Deshaun Hamilton's father? Yes. And Margaret Hamilton, <laughs> who is that to you? My mother. And is that William Harris, your brother, um, Hamilton's mother as well? Yes, ma'am. Did you know, um, or do you know Teresa Ann Bailey? Yes. How do you know Teresa Ann Bailey? We was friends. Do you see her in the courtroom? Yes. Could you please uh, describe what she looks like, what she's wearing? Um, she has on um, brown on a suit and a white shirt and Breaks in her hand. Uh, Your Honor, let the record reflect that the witness has identified the defendant. Any objection? No objection. The record will reflect the identification. Thank you. And did Teresa and your brother William have a relationship? Yes. Um, did they have children? Yes. Were you and Teresa friends prior to your brother having a relationship with her? Yes. Did you know Teresa's family? Yes. Does Teresa have siblings? Yes. How many? She has three brothers and a sister. And uh, were Teresa's parents around? Yes. Did she have a mom and a dad? Yes. Was there a point of time when Teresa was not in William's life? Yes. Uh, for about how long? About two years. And during that time, who was looking after William? Her parents. While Teresa's parents were looking after William, did the father's side of the family, your brother, um, your brother William, did that side of the family get to see? Yes. Little William? Yes. How often? Um, on the weekends, um, on the weekdays. Remember about what time, how old he was? About six. When Teresa came back into his life, did um, the father's side of the family continue to get to see little William? Yes. Did that ever change? It did. How soon? I can really tell you how long it was, but it changed. Do your, do your best. I know it's been a long time. How, how long do you think? Teresa had been back uh, about two years. years. About two years. And what happened? Um, she just disappeared. Did Teresa tell any anyone, to your knowledge, um, on the father's side of the family, that she was going anywhere? No. Did Teresa reach out to anyone on the father's side of the family, to your knowledge, for any help with William? Um, she, she did. Um, I don't know when it changed. I couldn't tell you exactly when it changed. 
Well, specifically before she disappeared. Before she disappeared? Right before she disappeared, did she reach out and ask for help? Yes. Did she ask for anyone to take care of him? So she no. Could... And leading up to the time, the two years that she was in his life before she left, um, she would ask the father's side of the family for help. At times. And would the, would the family members on the father's side of the family member help out? Yes. What sort of things would uh, your side of the family do to help out with William? Babysit, um, clothes, whatever he need money, whatever she needed for him. What was Lil William like? He was awesome. He was, he was a joy. Um, he, he would light up the room. He had a very good, um, beautiful smile. It would just melt your heart. He was a sweet guy. How old do you think William was when you last saw him? About six. About six. Did you ever speak to Teresa after you last saw William? Yes, I saw her. I did. Did you ask her about William? Yes. What did she tell you, or where did she tell you he was? She told me he was in a life with his godfather. Did you want to speak to him? Yes. Did you want to see him? Yes. What did Teresa say? That she would give him, I asked her, she would call, give him my number and let him call me, but she never did. He never called. Did you keep asking Teresa? Everybody, yes. Did you ever look for Teresa on social media? Yes. Were you able to become friends with Teresa on social media and link up that way? Yes. Do you remember when that was? In 2017. Permission to approach the witness room. Okay. I'm going to show you what's been marked as Exhibit 76. Do you recognize this exhibit? Yes. How do you recognize that? Because I befriended her on Facebook. Excuse me. I befriended her on Facebook. And is that a uh, snapshot of your Facebook profile? Yes. And is that the one you used to contact Teresa? Yes. Your Honor, at this time, the state tender 76 in the evidence. Any objection? Yes. All right, 76 is admitted. And I'm showing you Exhibit 77. Do you recognize this exhibit? Yes. Is that a screenshot of Teresa's Facebook profile? Yes. And is that the profile you reached out to? Yes. And were you able to talk to Teresa after you reached out to her? Yes, I was. And based on the conversations you had and the pictures you observed on that, on that profile, um, did, were you able to confirm it was, in fact, Teresa's <clears throat> profile? Yes. Your Honor, State Tenders Exhibit 77 in the evidence? Any objection? No objection. When you reached out to Teresa in 2017, what did you say to her? I asked about my nephew, um, and I wanted to talk to her. What she said? She told me that she would, um, excuse me. She told me that she would give him my number to call me, but he, she never did. Uh, were you able to continue having conversations with Teresa? Yes. At some point, did um, she stop that? Yes. What did she do? She, she did, um, blocked me. She blocked you on Facebook? Mm -hmm. Yes. Back in 1998, 1999, did you want to have a relationship with William? Yes. Do you still, to this day, would you have liked to have had a relationship with William? Yes. Would you have wanted your children to have a relationship with him back then? Absolutely. If Teresa or your brother William had asked you to help, would you have, would you have helped them? Absolutely. If you were unable to help them, was your mother in a position to help them? Yes. Did your mother ever help you with your kids? Yes, she did. 
your mom ever take care of your kids? All uh, six of them. Did you love William? I loved him. So clearly emotional there. That is the sister of the ex of the defendant, uh, you know, talking about this little boy, William Deshaun Hamilton, disappeared in 1998, found his body in 99, and trying to figure out who the heck might have killed him every, every moment since. By the way, you were watching earlier today uh, a proffer with this court in this case uh, about an expert, uh, kind of a catch-all expert. He was a cop. He was a toxicologist. He was a pharmacist. The court has ruled that he will be able to testify as to toxicology. His, uh, his attempt to get into more information, other areas, probably not going to be allowed. So we will hear from him uh, in front of the jury uh, again uh, a little bit later on. So here we are talking about this case. And luckily, I've got Catherine Lozardo here. She is a uh, trial attorney in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And on set, once again, Rich Schoenstein, always a pleasure to have you here, Mr. Uh, litigator from the New York area. Let me start with you. Uh, you know, this case, because it is a cold case, because it involves a child, this witness we just heard from, so important to help uh, the jury understand, you know, what was going on so long ago and how that may have led to this little boy's death. Yeah, uh, so what the witness does, she doesn't seem to have any direct evidence <clears throat> that the mother committed this crime, but she's telling some circumstances here that are highly suspicious. And the first one is that she disappeared for a long period of time, and the aunt tried to reach her and tried to reach the child, her nephew, and the mother said she was going to give her his phone number and that didn't, and then gave her the runaround and then blocked her on Facebook. That all sounds pretty bad. The other thing I thought was interesting in the aunt's testimony is she made clear there was help available in the family if the mother needed help with her child. She would have helped. The grandmother would have helped. There was ways that she could have gotten assistance with the child, and I think that's an important background fact. And you know, Catherine, uh, because this case is is what it is, you know, a mother accused of killing her six-year-old, it's horrific. Uh, the jury's going to have to believe, as Rich suggests here, that uh, things were so rough, so bad, that, uh, you know, offing her six-year-old was the way to go. I, that, that's a tough sell. It is, and I. it's very unbelievable for a jury to actually believe uh, Teresa's uh, version, and th that's why I think the defense has a really uh, uh, rough defense to uh, establish here, because what, what's interesting about this aunt's um, testimony is that with Teresa lying already, and we see William's beautiful face, there's Teresa lying to her saying that he is li he was living with his godfather that shows that Teresa already knew that he was missing if, if she has any alibi that we haven't heard yet um, as to that time frame she can't say that because now there's an aunt that says she's been hiding Williams from us now the defense is going to argue that that may be concealing of death, but that doesn't necessarily mean that she murdered him. Yep, and that's going to be so important in this case, maybe more than many others where we have felony murder, we have aggravated assault, we have cruelty to the child, we have concealment. There's so much for the jury to choose from. Uh, and I don't know, maybe it's too much and overwhelming, or maybe they default to one of the lessers like you suggest, Catherine. Let's take a break. We'll come back. We heard from the sister of the ex-boyfriend. Well, the ex is going to take the stand when we come right back. 